Okay, so we're going to start off with it depends. One word in Spanish to say it depends. So you might be asked a question and you can answer, well, it depends. It depends on various things. It depends in Spanish is just depende. 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 So depende is it depends. Nice and easy to remember. And if you're a complete beginner and you're thinking, how does learning it depends help me right now? Well, bear with the lesson because you'll see as it unfolds how we can build upon any single word that we learn in these pro Spanish lessons. So depende is it depends. It depends. Depende. Now, if we want to say it depends on someone or on something, in Spanish, they don't say it depends on something. They say it depends of someone or something. It depends of. So we say in Spanish, depende de. Depende de means it depends of. In English, we would say it depends on. So how would you say then, it depends on Pablo? Let's say, it depends on Pablo. How would you say that? And if you're new to these lessons, then just make sure you pause before answering to give yourself some thinking time. So, it depends on Pablo. What would that be? Depende de Pablo. Depende de Pablo. So, it depends of Pablo. Obviously, we would say it depends on Pablo. Uh, if you want to say it doesn't, in Spanish, any negative, we just use no, no, N-O, at the beginning. No depends. So how would you say? It doesn't depend on, and let's change it from Pablo to Maria. It doesn't depend on Maria. What would that be? No depende de Maria. No depende de Maria. Let's put it together and make a, a nice long sentence. How would you say? It doesn't depend on Maria. It depends on Pablo. It doesn't depend on Maria. It depends on Pablo. What would that be? No depende de Maria. Depende de Pablo. No depende de Maria. Depende de Pablo. How do we say it depends on me? It depends on me. Well, if we want to say me or you, depends on me or you, it's me or ti. Me, ti. So, me, fairly easy to remember, that's me, almost the same pronunciation, and ti. T I U. So M I me T I T U. Me T. So how would we say it depends on me? Depende de mí. Depende de mí. How would we say it doesn't depend on you, it depends on me? What would that be? It doesn't depend on you, it depends on me. No depende de ti. Depende de mí. No depende de ti. Depende de mí. Okay, we're going to learn two new words together. I'm going to say the words in Spanish and you are going to guess what they mean. La situación. La organización. La situación, la organización. And I'd be willing to bet that you have guessed la situación is the situation. La organización is the organization. So here we have a ready-made 
pot of almost like free words, because most words that end in t i o n in English, t i o n in Spanish, they're exactly the same, but c i o n, cion. In Latin America, that cion, that c, is pronounced like an s, cion. So they would say la situación. La organización, and in Spain, it's cion. The C is pronounced like a th. So we've got la situación, the situation, la organización, the organization, and all of these words are feminine, which means that they use la as the 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 word. The situation, la situación. How would you say the condition? The condition. What would that be? La condición. La condición. And obviously, we could come up with lots more of those words, those cion words. Okay. So, how would we say it depends? On the situation, it depends on the situation. What would that be? It depends on the situation. Depende de la situación. Depende de la situación. It depends on the situation. Depende de la situación. How would we say the organization depends on you? The organization depends on you. Now we said before that de depende is it depends, but it's also without the it, just depends. Depende, it depends or depends. So how would you say the organization depends on you? What would that be? La organización depende de ti. La organización depende de ti. And how would we say it depends on the condition of the house? It depends on the condition of the house. Now you already know of, of the house. Because we say it depends of, depende de. So you just need the word for the house, which you may already know is la casa. La casa. Casa blanca means white house. And in fact, there's the casa blanca in Morocco, which is white house. And the white house, seat of government in USA, la casa blanca. La Casa Blanca, the White House. Anyway, the word for just the house is la casa, la casa. So how would you say it depends on the condition of the house? Depende de la condición de la casa. Depende de la condición de la casa. It depends on the condition of de la casa, of the house. And just to check that you were listening, when I digress to talk about the White House, how would you say? The situation depends on the White House. The situation depends on the White House. What would that be? La situación depende de la Casa Blanca. La situación depende de la Casa Blanca. And to sound more natural in Spanish, it's nice to have the little, little extra phrases. So, in fact, in fact, is something we use a lot in English and in Spanish. In fact, to emphasize something. And in fact, in Spanish is de hecho. De hecho. De hecho is in fact. De hecho. In fact fact, de hecho. So how would you say, in fact, 
It depends on you. In fact, it depends on you. What would that be? De hecho, depende de ti. De hecho, depende de ti. How about, in fact, it doesn't depend on me. In fact, it doesn't depend on me. What would that be? De hecho, no depende de mí. De hecho, no depende de mí. How about, in fact, it doesn't depend on me, it depends on the condition of the house. In fact, it doesn't depend on me, it depends on the condition of the house. What would that be? De hecho, no depende de mí. Depende de la condición de la casa. De hecho, no depende de mí. Depende de la condición de la casa.